Hi everybody. I'm at my favorite spool in the middle of the farm and we're going to discuss my dinner yesterday at the feedlot at the Kankakee Valley Auction. Now the feedlot's only open on Mondays when the auction is open. It's also open on Saturdays when they have a Saturday auction. I usually only get the special. I do not eat the fries. The last time the fry I had the fries there, they tasted rancid, like the deep fryer oil hasn't been changed in time. So, you know, I don't think that they're very computer literate there. They do post some stuff on Craigslist, so I'm not sure if they'll ever see this. But you guys need to change the oil often in that deep fryer to make your fries taste good. Because if you don't, they taste like crap. It's just my note. You know, almost, almost everybody there orders cheese fries. You want to know why they're ordering cheese fries? It's so they taste the cheese and not the fries. That's just my opinion. Yes, when I went in there, I seen the chili as the special. And I wanted to, of course, have chili cheese dogs. Because their chili cheese dogs is like eating a meal. Much better than just eating a bowl of chili. Their bowls are small styrofoam things. It's like a cup of soup. You know, if I'm just going to eat a cup of soup, I'm going to have to go out and eat afterwards, which we ended up going to Subway and having five dollar footlongs after the auction because, you know, the soup the chili just wasn't enough for a meal, you know. So I had the chili. I tried to order a chili cheese dog. She said, we're out of hot dogs. And I'm like, this, this is basically concession food here. It's an auction. They serve once a week. You know, every auction has a little cafeteria. They all have hot dogs. How do you run out of hot dogs? You know, every single grocery store hot dogs are on sale and I'm sure they go to the grocery store and buy food they're not buying from Gordon's for one day you know they're they're getting whatever they get cheap so that, that was a pet peeve that they didn't have you know and I liked the auction I, I didn't I didn't think I was gonna end up giving a bad review to the auction restaurant I didn't think that I was gonna have this experience that the first thing I ask for, they're out of, you know, that, that's not, they're usually better than that. You know, that, that's completely unacceptable to go into a restaurant, especially after they open, and find out they're out of something. Restaurants today are supposed to be professionally managed and managed in a way that they have the items that are on their menu. And... You know, no one was managing at that food place because they did not have hot dogs. They have six days a week to go out and buy hot dogs for that restaurant. It's open one day. There's no excuse to run out of hot dogs. None. It's one of the only edible things on the menu, you know. And the other thing is, if you order a Chicago dog from Kankakee Valley's Feed Lot, you get a hot dog with tomatoes, mustard, ketchup, pickle, and lettuce. A uh, Chicago dog is supposed to come on a sesame seed, not a sesame, poppy seeded bun. It's supposed to have a hot dog. It's supposed to have sport pe peppers. It's supposed to have relish. And it's supposed to have tomatoes. And it's supposed to have a spare pickle. And half the place has put a little celery salt on it. That is a Chicago dog. Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, you know, the sliced dill pickles, is not a Chicago dog. That is, I don't think, we live an hour from Chicago. I don't think these people have ever been to Chicago. I don't know. Back to the chili. The chili was chunky. I think the beans and the tomatoes came from a can. I think that the, the onions and the chili were from, and what... They either came in the can with the beans or they came in the can with the 
with the tomatoes because they were too finely chopped. They, you know, it, it, it wasn't a human in that kitchen that made it. The items were all mixed up. They actually seasoned it. You know, it had a good flavor to it. You know, I would, I would have liked to have more peppers in the chili. I would have liked to have bigger onions. Maybe a touch bit spicier. I like to cough when I, when I first bite of chili. I want to clean out the throat. I go, <coughs> I want to cough a little bit. I didn't. You know, it was a weak chili. But it's an auction restaurant. You know, I, I, I think that compared to Panera Bread, actually more time went into making this chili than Panera Bread making their broccoli cheese soup at the restaurant. I think that the chili was a little bit more than just add water. I think that they tasted it. They added pepper, salt. You know, they, they actually, they gave a little effort. Let's go on to the chocolate cake. Okay, I'm back. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake was just a piece of like a, a devil's food chocolate cake and it had icing on it. They charged 50 cents for this cake. The cake was moist, it was good, and I think that you made the slice bigger, you could have charged two or three bucks for that cake. It was, you know, I thought when 50 cents for a piece of cake, when do you go into a restaurant and get something for 50 cents? They're not making profit off of it. I thought maybe there's something wrong with it. Maybe it tasted like rank, but it was good. Surprising, they should have charged more for that. That's just my opinion. They could have charged more. You know, because most of the time, even when I watch the, the cooking channels, I watch the cake, you can tell that cake that they're putting up there is drier than shit. And there's nothing worse than biting into a dry piece of cake. And this cake at the auction was not dry. It was good. You taste the chocolate in it. It was moist. I'd, I'd buy it again. I give this meal three brown mustard stains on the shirt. You know, that's three out of five. You know, for being homemade, you know, from a can, but it's still homemade, prepared by someone. You know, much better than a national restaurant like Panera Bread, who just heats soup, probably adds milk or butter. Oh, who knows? Much better, you know. I would have gave it four if they had hot dogs, if they had the items on the menu that they should have, but, you know, maybe next week, because I'll, I'll rate whatever I get from them next week. Thank you all. Please subscribe to my channel and give my video five stars. Thank you.